Hi, I'm Kevin, a speech-language pathologist here at Super Duper Publications. And this is Photo Fish, and it's the magnetic fishing game. And this is designed for children pre-K up to 6th grade. Now in front of me, this is going to be the Photo Fish K kit for working on those articulation skills with the K sound. Now included with this, if we open the box, We'll notice within each kit we're going to have a tray and we're also going to have two fishing rods. We're going to have our 27 fish. Now these are going to uh, be fish that we can use for initial, medial, and final position of the words. You'll notice that the fish are color coded and that's going to be for easy identification and easy sorting when we're trying to get all of our fish back together. We also include an instruction sheet with directions, and then of course our magnets that we'll use to place on each fish. We'll put those back in the box here. Now each kit will not only come with the components, but it's also gonna come with this tackle box, and then of course the fish pond that you see here on the table in front of me. Now I've already thrown out some fish into the fish pond, so now we're able to work on each targeted sound now you can do these either individually or you can do them as a combo as I have here. Now you'll notice here with each fish, this is going to be the blue fish, it has popcorn, the red fish will have car, and the green one will have sock. So with this, you'll notice that our red fish will indicate our initial position of the words. Our blue fish will indicate our medial position of that targeted sound. And then of course our green fish will indicate the final position of our targeted sound. Again, you can do these individually where you have all blue fish, all the red fish, or all the green fish. Or as I mentioned before, in this instance, we're just going to use all the fish for this activity. Now the way that we can use this game is we're going to place the fish down, excuse me, fish face down in the pond, and then we'll use our pole to catch those fish. So we can just reach out, We'll catch a fish. So in this instance, you'll see we have a duck. So now the student can either just build vocabulary by catching all the fish in the pond, and then they can just name those items, or each of these items that you see will have a separate image that is the same one. So basically creating a matching activity. So we can have this item being the duck, and now we can fish this one's going to be a sock, so that's not a match, so we'll throw that one back in the pond. Catch another fish. This is a sock. Of course, that's not a match as well. So we'll catch our other green fish, and there's our duck. So now we've actually just done a matching activity, so now that we have our two ducks, and then we can throw those back in the pond as well. Now if you want to expand on this activity, so it's not just a naming item or just a single word activity, you can actually use this to work on phrases and sentences. Now to do this, what we'll do is we'll catch more than one fish, or we can just catch one fish depending on the student's ability levels. So we'll just reach out, we'll catch a fish. In this instance, we've caught a car. So now we can ask the student, create a sentence using the word car in that sentence. And then of course, to make it a more difficult activity or just to expand upon that one word sentence building, we can catch another fish. And now we have soccer ball. So with this, we can ask the students, create a sentence using the words car and soccer ball. So you can see you can use this activity if you're using just one fish or two fish or you know even three fish as you're trying to create uh, sentences with multiple words. Now you can even use this activity if you're working at the conversation level. So to do this, what we can do is catch another fish. This would be popcorn. So you can ask the student to describe popcorn, uh, ask them where you might find popcorn, where you might eat this, and that way you can actually get more conversation and expressive communication from your students just by using those words. Now I have the K kit here with me, but we also target other sounds as well, and these will include the sounds S, R, L, and of course the S, R, and L blends, K, D, 
F G C H S H the sounds P, B, and M, as well as T, D, and N. Those are going to be the fishing kits that we can use to work on articulation skills, but don't forget we also have the kits that you can use with the photo fish pond to work on some more language and grammar activities. For instance, with this one we have is for rhyme time, but we also include additional fish that target verbs, classifying, colors, shapes, and numbers, opposites, and of course the alphabet. Now you may notice that I mentioned before that we have the entire kit where you're going to receive the fish pond, the two fishing poles, your fish, as well as your magnets, but we can also purchase just add-on sets which will come in this container which is actually just going to give us the fish only. We also sell a two pack of extra fishing poles. You can purchase an additional fish pond. And of course you can get an additional tackle box as well. So these items, they come included with the complete kit, but you can also purchase these items separately if you need to. Photo fish includes 27 pairs of magnetized photo fish for a total of 54 fish six extra catch of the day fish, one fish pond, two lightweight fishing poles, an easy to tote hard plastic tackle box, instructions, and game ideas. So that's the photo fish magnetic fishing game. Again, designed for children pre-K up to sixth grade, but of course you can use this activity with students of all ages to add an extra element of fun into articulation or even language and sentence building activities. So to learn more about this or any of our other products, please visit our website, superduperinc.com, and even visit our Facebook page. We would love for you to share your thoughts and ideas on how you could use this product with your students.